So now that the pier is done, the next part of the build is the base and walls. So I'm gonna get that started and I shall film along the way and get that video out as soon as I can. That's the shut run up for the base. Just got to dig out the inside now and get it all level. Right, so I'm getting ready to put the floor in. And what I've done here is got some pipes in for cables. There's obviously this one going up to the pier, coming out the top there. And these other two are one for an electric cable coming from that direction. And there'll be one from this side which will be an internet cable coming from the house. So they'll come up in the floor and they'll be just inside the wall of the building when the wall is up. I'm just gonna smash this rubble in, fill some holes up. So this is a layer of insulation that I'm putting on to separate the concrete base from the pier foundation. So when the concrete sits on top of this, it'll have this layer of insulation between, which will just create enough of a gap so that it's not physically touching the foundation below. So there'll be no risk of any vibrations being picked up and transferred into the pier and up to the camera. So a little tip for opening your bags of cement. With a decent sized trowel, cut it down the middle. And you've got two nice sized half bags with no mess. I had just enough ballast to mix my concrete. At one point I thought it was actually going to run out, but it's all in. Just going to let the water evaporate, then when it's dried out a bit, I'm going to float it up properly. concrete base all now finished all nicely floated up just got to let that concrete dry just taking the shutter and off and it's now ready for me to put the timber floor on and then I can start building the walls So I'm fixing the base plates to the concrete and what I'm doing here is I'm half lapping the joints. So I've cut out half on each so they overlap and then it gives you a way to fix the two together on the corners. 
it just keeps all nice and tight and I've set it in from the edge of the concrete because I'm going to clad the outside of the walls with this OSB board so that's where it's going to sit it'll finish flush with the edge of the concrete finish flush like that and then when it's all together I shall put some cement boards on hardy plank which will come down and cover the join they'll come down to about here These concrete screws are really good. All you have to do is drill straight through the wood, straight into the concrete, and then without removing the wood, you just put the screw straight in and screw it right into the concrete. No plugs required. They're a special kind of screw. They grip into the concrete. You need a special bit in the end, and they hold it really well. Absolutely solid. So I'm clamping the template on top of the piece of wood to cut, and then I'm going to be guaranteed the same length of timber every time. first test run I'm just going to check that everything works okay on my new pier and I'm now slewing to Arcturus so I can focus and basically check everything works okay on the pier in what will be the new observatory when it's all finished it appears to be working okay so far So today I'm going to carry on with the walls of the observatory. I've got to put the OSB boards on the timber studs and then cover that with a breather membrane, a felt, and put some battens on and then put the hardy planks on. So hardy plank is down there ready on the cover. So that's my job for today. That was easy.
so this side panel is in now and it was a bit tricky very heavy but it's all nicely done finished off i'll put some gravel down the side up against the wall to help with drainage but that is maintenance free and i should hopefully not have to touch that again so now i've just got to finish off the rest of it but at least i can get to all the other sides i can physically get to them and it'll be a lot easier to build okay so the construction of the observatory so far is like this there's a three by two treated timber framework and these studs are at 400 centers then screwed on to the outside of the studs is this 11 mil OSB. That just makes it all rigid and helps to strengthen it all up. Then on the outside of the OSB, there's this felt here. It's actually a breather felt. And then over the top of that, are two by one battens. You can just see them up there. Again, they're 400 centers, screwed onto the main joists, main, main uprights. And then we have this slight mist color, color gray cement board, hardy planks. Have used the metal corners for a nice smaller profile. Makes it nice and neat and tidy, finishes it off. And that's what this side looks like. The other side is done as well, close to the wall. So we had to build this whole section separately and then lift it into place. And that was rather heavy. So now I've ordered a door, just waiting for the door to come. And I'm now trying to figure out how to build the roof. So I've ordered some wheels and a track so the wheels will go on the underside of this piece and the track will sit on the top there. And this is the section that's actually gonna slide out like so. Hi everyone. As you can see, my observatory is coming along nicely behind me. And I plan to do a bit more of that this weekend. But right now I'm waiting for a delivery. It's a bit of a special delivery. I've decided to go mono. So I'm now waiting for the 2600mm Pro, a seven position filter wheel, 36 mil, and a set of three nanometer Anvia filters. That's the HA, O3, and S2, and the LRGB. So I plan to use the mono setup in the observatory and the 2600 one shot color camera i've got i will use that on my portable rig so this is really as far as i'm going to go with part two i've got the walls built as much as i can go the next stage will actually be putting the roof on and i'll be able to finish the end walls once the roof is on because the roof is going to be able to slide over the top of the end walls so i need to really get the angle of the roof get that built and then I'm going to build the walls up to the underside of the roof so I can get it exactly right. So what I've done here is I've ordered a set of wheels and a track and the next video will be me installing the track and wheels and hopefully completing the roof. So this is the track. This is a 20 mil V groove. You see, that's the shape of it. And the wheels I've got are these wheels. These are 50 mil V groove wheels, and they sit nicely on there. And they're very quiet and smooth, and it should work nicely, I hope. And I've bought eight of these pieces, so that's going to give me up to six meters a side, which is way more than I need, I only need about five meters. And I've got eight wheels, so that's gonna be four each side. So hopefully that will do the job. And this will all be in my next video, which will be me building the roof and 
finishing off the gable part of the walls which will be built up to the underside of the roof and hopefully my door will be in as well by then so I can install the door and get that all finished off that will be in the next video so I really hope you like this video I hope you found it useful and I'd like to thank all my subscribers um, I'm now over 400 so that's absolutely fantastic I'd like to thank every one of you if you like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more, especially of how this observatory comes out, then please hit that subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you all on the next video. And I wish you all clear skies.